Hey guys, Dark Recycling FPV here, and I know this lighting is like <laughs> really bad. I'm, I wish I knew how to make this better, but I don't think it's going to improve. Let me see. Oh, I'm like all up on that. All right, let's see if that works. Okay, so um, yeah, it's a little too much light. Oh, who cares? Anyways, listen, so I'm, I'm just set up everything here for a real quick video, and it's, it's going to be about a battery, right? And we're going to talk about a battery real quickly, but just understand that I know there's going to be a bunch of people that just totally fire back at me for this one. I really don't care. Um, but this is for folks that, I don't know, like just have some extra batteries laying around. They're not able to get them. I mean, like, oh, the cells are bad or, oh, they can't get a charge. I'm going to show you a little trick that, we, that I do here. Now, um, we can test these all day long, and that's what I'm going to do tomorrow when I fly these batteries. But I'm going to show you what I've done here. Um, and it's purely out of uh, accident. I mean, they, 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 this happened. But I really feel like it's important that, uh, you know, I kind of show you how to recover from this, so to speak. So let me show you what I want to do. Let's just get to it real quickly. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you this screen right here. I'm going to do like that, okay? So what you're seeing is the bottom part of my um, Thunder Power RC4 port charger. Now, it doesn't matter what charger you have. What's important is the following. Here is uh, one of my Thunder Power RC6 S LiPos. Or, or sorry, this is a 5S Sugar Rush LiPo, okay? And I don't know why, but it literally has zero. There's nothing. I can't even get it to light up. As you can see right here, you see that? I mean, I got nothing, all right? And so when I go to plug this in, and I'm sure you guys have seen this before happen on your site also. I'm going to plug this in and charge it. I set it like that, and I go out and I hit, okay, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, change this to 5S, okay, and we'll go ahead and do that, and you're going to get this error right here, and I mean, honestly, there's no, vo there's no voltage, there's barely any voltage on here, so we're going to try something a little different, right, here's what we're going to do, we're going to exit out, and what we're going to do is we're actually going to leave this, this wire, the XT60 plugged in, and we're going to now take our, um, our balance lead, and we're going to plug it in to our uh, meter right here, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my type and I'm gonna change it until I see nickel metal hydride right there, okay? And I'm gonna hit start. And then I'm gonna just see if I can leave the battery sitting in one place. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set it to manual and I'm gonna set it to two amps and I'm gonna hit start. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch this meter, see if it kicks in. And all of a sudden, there it is. Now let's just watch what happens. So we're gonna you switch to the cells, okay? And we're just gonna let this thing start going and we're gonna see what happens on here for a second, okay? So just give it a second and uh, we're gonna see what happens. So, so far, we're getting a voltage reading back of 14 volts. Okay, so let's just give it a little bit. Now unplug this, let me plug it back in. And all of a sudden, look, we have our cell one, our cell two, our cell three, our cell four, our cell five. Okay, and now we're getting readings, okay? Now watch. Now, here's the deal. Don't leave. Don't move. Don't take your eyes off of this. Just stay with it, okay? And we're going to watch this keep going, okay? So far, we're getting a reading of 3.16 on cell 4. Uh, and cell 5 is 3.2. Cell 1, 2.8, 2.9. So we're just going to let this keep going. Now, I get it. it cells could be damaged. Trust me, I, I get it. Okay, look, this is not about a... Who's smarter? Whoops, you know what? I should probably do it like this. This way we're all learning the same way. So it is It is not, let's do it like that. This isn't an issue of who knows more about drones or batteries or lipos or who's smarter, who's a bigger nerd. Okay, so don't give me all the crap about, oh, blah, 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 blah. Just save your speech. All I care about right now is if I can get this battery to go from zero, not lighting up at all, to actually holding a charge. And that charge could be used for bench testing. It could be used for flying. We're gonna find out tomorrow. I'm gonna use these batteries tomorrow. But the point being is, is they're usable. They're not throwaways, okay? And so many people are just like, ah, piss it, I'm tossing this battery, suck it. Well, okay, fine. Maybe your cell isn't going to hold well anymore. Who knows? Maybe you're going to have too much sag. But what you are going to have is you still have a battery that can be brought back to life for working purposes, okay? Whether that is running your goggles. It would make a great battery to run your goggles. I mean, come on, guys. There's a million things we can use batteries for, even if it's just bench testing when we're plugging into Betaflight flight or something. Who cares? The point is, is not throw your money away, right? So let's get back to our battery real quick and see where we're at, right? Okay, here's our battery right now. Let's look at our cells. We have cell, let's go to cell, cell one is a 3.3, cell two, 3.4, cell three, 3.3, cell four, 3.4, cell five, 3.5. Okay, cool. Let's just stop it. Boom. We're going to go ahead and stop the charge in there. Okay, now let's just go ahead and plug it in like normal. And let's switch to our... Uh, LiPo, hit start, I'm going to charge it, okay, we still need to give it a little bit more voltage, no problem, 
No problem. Easy to do. So let's go ahead and go back. Nickel metal hydride right there. Okay, let's go ahead and plug this in. Let it go a little bit more. All right, we're going to give it like, let's give it a few more minutes. Let's give it one minute, maybe. One minute. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you flat out that anybody that, uh, I, I will not agree with anyone, and I, and I mean this, so I, don't, I really don't care who you are, but I will not agree with anyone that says that this cannot be done and that there's a mistake in this because there's not. You, want it to, you, you, you do not want to leave your battery sitting here unattended charging nickel metal hydride, right? Um, what you can do, though, is you can basically just get some power into those cells, get some energy back into the cells, then stop the charge, and we're going to see, like, I'm at 3.4, 3.5, 3.5, 3.6. I mean, I'm, I'm almost good enough, I'd say, to pull it off. And I would I'll probably say that as soon as each cell reads 3.5. So let's let's watch. Let me see. The lowest cell is cell one. So let's watch cell one. When cell one gets to 3.5, okay, we're at 3.48, 3.417. Uh, let's hope it's going to climb back up. Right, let's give it a second here. Okay. There it goes. Let's keep it going. And I'm holding on to the battery because I'm checking temperature, I'm making sure it doesn't get puffy. I want to make sure it's okay. Right? So right about 3.5, let's go ahead and stop it. And there, stop. Now, let's go ahead and take it out. Let's go ahead and plug it back in here. Let's change our pattern again to, where are we at? Lipo, hit start. Okay, let's see now. And there you go. We are now charging the battery like normal under balanced charge conditions. So again, guys, this battery went from zero, not being able to light up at all, got nothing on it, to being able to take a charge under standard balanced charge, okay? Now, again, I know you're gonna have people, oh, this is Dave. Okay, well, first of all, here's the deal. Let me put this little disclaimer. If you're gonna do something like this, you sit there and you watch it, you pick your level, to me, 3.5 is the max under nickel metal hydride to get this charge. Do not leave it. Do not walk away. Do not pass go. Don't collect 200. Don't be an idiot, okay? And don't say I didn't know or oh, blah, 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 poor me. All I care about is get your, get your meter, okay, and plug it in and do this. <clears throat> and what you'll do is you'll be able to recover. I've got four batteries here that are literally at almost zero. I cannot get them to light up at all on my meter at all, zero. And I'm going to bring them all back to life now. And... It's funny, but there are so many little tricks to do to bring your batteries back to life. Now, again, would I use this battery to race with? Well, first of all, I don't race. I suck at flying, but um, I'll fly with it. I don't have a problem with it. And, if I, and I'll see, and I'll see, how the, I'll see how these cells are going to dip, right? Uh, or, or if there's a considerable amount of sag. But let's be honest here. There's a million things we can use batteries for. They don't all have to be for that major flight. They can be for test flights. They can be for anything else. They can be for slow flights. And this battery will be just fine. So we'll give it just a little bit more, um, and we're going to watch it uh, happen here, actually. It's, it's going right now. So I'm going to switch back to that as full screen, all right? And what you will see also on the other side is that the uh, other battery that you see to the right is a 4S that was uh, lost all its charge as well. So we're going to see how far these go, um, and they're both climbing pretty good. I don't see a problem. Now, I will tell you that looking at the 4S, it is kind of teetering. I don't... Uh, I'm not sure yet, and what I may do is run one cycle on it, um, uh, just to just to get all the cells uh, uh, drop back down. But um, I'm going to see here. I mean, like I'm going to see how far we can take these, okay? And then we're going to cycle them back. Probably put them in a storage mode. Bring all the cells down. I don't know. Let me see if I can do this. Yeah, there we go. So I can see my cell counts here and here, okay? And so far. Uh, I'm, I think I, I do. I like them. I like the way they're balanced charging. I have no problem with it. So look, um, I will come back here later on and show you the update to all of this. But what I do want to show you right now is the main thing to show you is that there is a way to at least recover the cells so that you can have a battery to use. Okay. And like I said, I mean, for the most part, um, I think they're going to be just fine uh, to at least do some simple flying with or some work or bench work or something else for that matter. But if you do find yourself in a position like this, don't just go toss them out and say, oh, they don't work. There's a good chance you can bring them back, okay? And, uh, and you may, like I said, they may not be perfect, but they will be good enough to fly with. They will be good enough to use, all right? Um, so on the nickel metal hybrid side, or when you're going to charge something like this, again, keep your eyes on it at all times. Do not leave it. Only, as you can see, it takes five minutes to get this thing where I need it to be. 
I always keep my hand on it. I uh, make sure I don't feel any heat. And then I can also just check and make sure it's not puffing up. As long as I don't have those two things, I have no problem at all. Do not charge them past 3.5. Uh, then you wanna just go ahead and bounce charging back up, okay? And let me see now one more time where we're at. So 3.95, 3.94, okay. So our, our uh, 4S is about, it is still climbing. Um, and I'm feeling really good about that one. This is gonna be the 4S right here. This is the 5S right here. Uh, and it too is going, let me see. Uh, it is balanced charging right now. So we're gonna see, uh, let's see, cells uh, one. Cell one needs to kick up a couple. But uh, look at the 4S. It went from zero to now almost all perfectly balanced charged. And we're gonna see if we can push those limits, okay? All right, guys, look, I hope this helps a little bit. It's just a little trick, a little cool little trick so you don't lose your batteries, all right? Uh, and um, anybody who wants to argue about it, just tell them to be quiet. Because it works, you can see it right here. Nobody's fixing any of this stuff. Uh, it works and it works well. Okay, if you have any questions, guys, as always, uh, please uh, jump on over to our, our Facebook page, uh, our groups page. You can see the address right below right here. And then I will say, once again, as I always do, please, please, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, uh, this is my garage right now. Uh, we are getting so close to moving into our new nine-acre facility, and I look forward to having all of you out there when you can. Um, and uh, I want to give a shout-out to my kids. Hope you guys are doing well. Love y'all very much. Awesome football game today, guys. Landon and Jaden, you guys kicked butt today. Uh, Landon, you scored two touchdowns, and Jaden, you did an awesome job with your catches. Uh, and Ashton, bud, I'm going to see you play football soon. You got high school football starting back up, so get ready. Anyways, uh, to everybody else, God bless, be safe, and most of all, spend time with your family, guys. You never know how much time you have left, so please make the most of it. You can always fly later. Um, and other than that, God bless. We'll see you soon. Peace. Bye.